Well, of course, one of our top stories today is the sending off of Banyana Banyana players and the technical team. Banyana Banyana will be playing in their second FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The tournament kicks off on the 20th of this month and SABC News senior reporter Tabiso Sitole went to see the players before they jetted off and he joins us live in studio. Tabiso, thank you so much for yeah. making time. Was it a joyous occasion <laughs> as Banyana Banyana were sent? setting a foot onto those different aircrafts. I think as far as farewells are concerned, having done quite a few of them, this one was a bit, you know, it was a bit of a somber one. I mean, I guess the, the, the weeks and news, especially the past 48 to 72 hours, were a bit touching. And I guess, in a way, the players were still in a moment of reflection more than anything. But we had a chat with Coach Desiree Ellis, you know, on the size of it. And look, Desiree is well traveled. She's well seasoned. She knows what it takes. This team, as we all know, their, their history, how hard they fight to get what they want. And it showed, as I can say, the faces spoke volumes, whether it was the intensity about knowing that country duty is upon them or the intensity of still taking in what the agreements were off the field of play, so to speak. But I mean, look, the hotel staff were there, a handful of family members there to, to see them off. It was something of joy. I mean, I totally enjoyed it. I mean, I always enjoyed uh, yeah. covering anything Banyana Banyana anyway. No, absolutely. I want us to chat a little bit about those negotiations that took place earlier today. Mm. Uh, was Safa in any way responsible for any of the bonuses that Banyana Banyana players are going to be receiving or is it wholly the Mutsipe Foundation? Look, again, as we heard when the Minister and um, the South African Football Players Union and SAFA spoke about their still negotiations on the side. So the nitty gritties of it, the finalization of exactly what will entail in terms of contracts, we're still not too privy to or sure of. But what I can say is that it's a pity that it gets down to this time and time again. I remember when Banyana Banyana came back from AFCON, they spoke about from now onwards, fair pay across the board for all both men and females. Has that trickled down to where this is? Question number one. Secondly, why leave it for so late mm -hmm. to actually have these negotiations about these players? Surely these lessons should have been learned. And one could say the players were, I mean, I was saying inverted commas, because you see the socials are buzzing, the other players are stingy, they are greedy. Yeah. The reality is, totally, these are professionals. Some of these ladies, the only job they have is football. We know that in the ranks, whether it's Hollywood bets or local leagues, they get paid anything from 5,000 rands per appearance fee. Whereas when the men's game play, anything between 60,000 rand per match to 150,000 rand per match is what they wanted, for example, at the 2010 Soccer World Cup. The reality is, we heard Daniel Dunn saying there'll be equal play across the board. Has it fizzled down to them? And if it hasn't, why is it still not in contract? Why is it still on paper for us to get to the situation where the lady is saying we're not going to honor a match because we need one, two, three, four? Okay, because we are running out of time, only a small contingent yeah. left today. When are the rest of the Banyana Banyana players leaving and what is the route that they're yeah. going to be taking? The girls, or well, the rest of the team is leaving tomorrow, I think, and I understand from what I saw with the bus left today, about 10 to 15 players were got onto the bus with a handful of technical uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, squad as well. I think the route they take, depending whether they fly Emirates, which is out to out north and then fly across, they should be going probably Sydney in Australia, then go through to Christchurch, New Zealand. They are in camp there until the 20, uh, until their opening match. They play their first match against Costa Rica on the 15th. So they've got about two weeks or so to acclimatize before that big match. I think, again, for me, they should have maybe more than just one warm-up yeah. World Cup match at the World Cup. Unfortunately, that's all they have for now, as far as we know. Sure. Thank you so much for those insights. Uh, Tabi Sositoile, SABC News Senior Sport Reporter. Banyana Banyana, well, half of the contingent has now jetted off to Australia and New Zealand for the FIFA Women's World Cup. And, of course, the rest of the team will be leaving tomorrow.